Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to teach you three variations of the rainbow flick. So let's get right into the first one. So first up we have the classic rainbow flick and for all of these skills I would recommend practicing first with the ball still before trying them on the move. So for the classic rainbow flick, I place one foot either side of the ball. My dominant foot is always forward, that's just most comfortable for me. And I like to have my heel facing the front of the football. Then my non-dominant foot is behind the football with the inside of my foot facing the football. I then clamp the ball between my feet like this, so I can grab it, I could jump on the spot if I wanted to and the ball would stay in between my feet. And then with my back foot, I'm rolling the ball up my standing leg. So almost up the calf muscle here. And you want to do it aggressively enough so that you could flick the ball. So as you release it, the ball is going to be up in the air. Then with my dominant foot, I make contact with the heel. So as I flick that ball up with the behind foot, I release the ball. And then my dominant foot, so my front foot, is going to make contact with the ball using the heel. So then we can flick it up in the air like this. So you can use this for a regular flick up, but we want to create that rainbow effect, which makes the ball go up in the air and then you can catch it on the other side of the defender. So to do that, all we do is use the exact same technique, but as we make contact with the heel, we want to lean forward slightly. That just creates the angle in order to push the ball forwards as it's going up in the air. So as you can see, if I'm upright, the ball goes straight up like this. But if I lean forward slightly, it's going to come forwards with me. The second variation is one that Neymar often uses, which is why it's called the Neymar Rocket. So for this one, all we're doing is clamping the ball in between our feet once again, but this time both feet are facing forward. So with the classic, we had one foot in front of the other. For the Neymar Rocket, we're both feet facing forward and clamping the ball between the inside of both of our feet. And all we're doing for this one is simply jumping with the ball. And then we're gonna flex our legs, which just means bend the legs like this. And then as we bend our legs, we're actually gonna release the ball. But a way I like to do it that makes the ball actually aggressively pop up into the air, I like to release one foot at a time. So usually I release it with my non-dominant foot first, so then I can flick it with the inside of my dominant foot. So as you can see here, as I flick it, I release it, but I'm actually flicking it off the inside, almost towards the toe of my dominant foot. Then it's exactly the same. We need to lean forward in order to create that rainbow effect. So for upright, the ball goes upright, but if we lean forward slightly upon releasing the ball, it's gonna create that rainbow effect. And the third variation is the advanced rainbow flick. And although it's called advanced rainbow flick, it's not as difficult as it seems. So for this one, what we have to do is roll the ball using the sole of the foot. We're rolling it towards our opposite foot, so kind of diagonally across our body. And that's just gonna give the ball momentum so that we can flick the ball up with our opposite foot. So as we roll it across our body, we're then gonna use the opposite foot, which is my dominant foot, with the inside to scoop the ball up. So the momentum of the ball is gonna roll on top of the foot here, then we're just gonna lift our leg and that's gonna flick the ball up into the air, kind of like this. As you can see, the ball just pops up in the air slightly. And then all we're doing with our non-dominant leg is getting our heel underneath it so we can then flick it over the defender's head. And as with the previous two rainbow flicks, if we remain upright in our body posture, the ball's just gonna pop straight up in the air like this. So if we want to create that rainbow effect by flicking it forward so that we can retrieve it on the other side of the defender, all we need to do is lean forward upon making contact with the heel to make it come at an angle so it can go forwards and then we can collect it on the other side. All right guys, so those are the three rainbow flick variations for you to try for yourselves. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure you smash the like button, hit the subscribe button for weekly training videos, and I will see you guys in my next video.